What's going on, Cold Rollers? This is Pope Boy coming back at you. Hey, listen, we're getting back into the engine so that way we could continue tearing her apart little by little. And uh, hopefully, we could get her uh, over to the machine shop as soon as possible. So, we're going to get started on that today. There's not a lot of blah, blah, blah for me. I know I talk a lot. However, I just wanted to give you guys a big hello before anything. If this is your first time coming to the channel, please subscribe and hit that like button. And if you want to be reminded of any time one of our videos come out, go ahead and hit that little bell. It's located somewhere around here. Anyway, uh, let's get back into it. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, uh, we already removed uh, the down, the, the up-pipes, you know, from the irate diesel T4 uh, kit. We also removed the uh, exhaust manifold, and uh, we also removed uh, all the rockers, the push rods, and we removed the plenums. Um, now, however, at the end, I, I know you guys noticed that I was uh, doing a little cleaning um, because there was a lot of fluid in the valley. So I wanted to clean that up. I'm going to try to remove the H-pop now and uh, see if uh, we could further this along a little bit. So yeah, um, little by little, you know, we're going to get this engine going and uh, we'll be seeing it at the track and do the best we can. Hopefully you guys are cheering me on, you know, I really appreciate you guys watching us. Uh, that really counts a lot, you know, it means a lot to us. So uh, let's continue on in the project. So yeah guys, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, getting this all done so that way I could uh, start sending the parts over to the machine shop and uh, well, you know how it goes. Every little bit that I could do to it, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm hoping to see some real nice results at the end of the day. I always keep forgetting to put on my gloves. I try, I forget. Then I spend about <laughs> an hour just cleaning my hands and my arms and all that good stuff. So I look at this engine right now and I think to myself, I'm like, you know, <laughs> an engine, a truck, it's almost like life, you know, there's good moments, bad moments, times it works right, times it works horrible, <laughs> but, um, you know, you gotta make do with what you have and you know, do the best you can. So that way it could last longer and you know. right. but yeah. Right now 
ugly Betty doesn't have the engine in her doesn't have the tranny in her which like I was saying it's like life you know there's times you feel empty hollow inside however when you least think about it God starts pulling what isn't necessary in your life starts pulling everything that's bad just like we are here you know, at the end you know the, this is your heart basically we're pulling all the stuff apart we're gonna get rid of the bad you know and uh, the things that are going wrong we're putting our hands into it and working on it just like God does with our lives he puts his hands in our heart and starts ripping all those things that just are not right for you. And sometimes we feel like, oh man, I enjoyed certain things. Or, you know, I kind of liked whatever. But we have to give in. We have to give in. So that way we can continue. receiving whatever it is that he's giving us, little by little. And yeah, it may seem like sometimes when we're down, here comes another hit, and another hit, and everything keeps on compiling over you. Yeah, it seems that way. The way I see it, it has to be that way. This is the school of life. We learn that way. You don't get up into a pair of skates and start skating like a Olympic skater. You fall, you scrape your knees, you get banged up. And you get better as time progresses. That's life in general. Anyway, I'm about to continue with the heads. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. I need a set of chains or something later on. We'll see. Alright. Jesus, I'm going to meet. I'm going to miss those uh, half inch sockets so I could put my breaker bar on it. But we'll do what we can to see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. They are tight. Tight, tight, tight. Time to work for show. Alright. It's going to take a little while, so. I'm gonna put you on time lapse again. So we got everything set up. Uh, the heads are undone basically. I haven't pulled them off. 
They're very heavy. My back problems. So I don't want to hurt myself. But everything is already off. Uh, we got the rockers out. We got the uh, push rods out. We still have the springs, obviously. The valves are in also. Uh, but yeah, we already did undid all the studs. I did have one stud come out together with the nut. But uh, I'll, I'll address that later. That's no biggie. Um, and yeah, so we got the H-pop out also. We got the T4 kit out. So I'm going to call it a night for today. Uh, i got to be at church tomorrow again. Um, as you guys know, I tend to use these, uh, these videos on Saturdays. Uh, it's the only time I got as of right now. Um, so yeah, uh, I think we, we're doing progress. I think uh, pretty soon we'll be uh, stepping into some more stuff that uh, will get more exciting and more exciting every day. But yeah, I think we're doing good. I really appreciate each and every one of you for uh, watching the videos. So stay tuned for the next videos. And uh, thank you once again for uh, all the support you guys give the channel. Um, I guess that's all for tonight. <laughs> We're going to cut it short. I'm feeling a little beat and tired. Uh, but it's time for me to hit the hay and get ready for tomorrow for church. And uh, yeah. I think it's going to be epic. I think what's coming soon is uh, it's going to be awesome. So remember how I always say, let the coal roll.